things that I tend to lean towards to is uh, very dynamic um, and exciting compositions and that works in a school setting because normally you do want to get the students excited about mm. um, any event that pops up that comes up and I think my interest in movement just just came from my tendency to do dy dynamic compositions. So this okay. one was uh, the earliest work it's uh, more of an experiment in playing around with a different kind of illustration style so oh, okay. uh, so what, I, so what I use from here is that I moved on to, some, to something more, a bit more messy, a bit more spontaneous, yeah. and more energetic, and more energetic. So, and, and uh, with this, the subject of it, it was, it was the stars. So in, Beige, so in Beijing, one of the things that I don't get to see around here are the, are the stars. Well, wow. mostly started from a few doodles of circles, and one of the things um, I noticed is that it's just, it's just that uh, one of the things I knew before then was that um, you, with that with a pen, it's kind of difficult to create like a gradient, like a gradient um, or shape or shading. So what yeah, so what you have to do is that you have to kind of change the density of the, density of the amount of lines in the area to create that effect. And and um, that's what I noticed when I was doodling with circles. So the reason why this is my favorite is um, it's because it's because of the fact that uh, water is really difficult to draw. It's even more difficult to render realistically. Okay. So. Um, so, so since the work is about movement, uh, I, look, I looked at the water and the sea, and the water, the water is interesting in terms of movement because it's, it's, it looks still, but on the surface it's all, there's um, always this, kind of, this movement from the wind, from the way it moves. And, and that particular aspect of it is what makes it so difficult to draw. Right. And I kind of like this because I do, I do enjoy the final effect of how I've tried to render the way the water moves on the surface. This is a cheetah, and how it fits in with all of this is, um, I looked at birds earlier, and the thing about birds is that they're more, they're more of a graceful, swift kind of movement. Mm. A cheetah is, a, is a more, kind of, kind of like a brute power in terms of speed, it, and it's the fact that sprinting is a different, different, completely different style of movement than flying. Flying, um, there's, glide, there's gliding, and that in itself is, is um, it's very graceful the way that it moves through the air. Mm. And for cheetah, sprinting is, is very rhythmic. It's, um, it's 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 like a synchronized burst of speed between two pairs of legs, yeah. and and that's what I wanted to convey in the form. So one of the things I tried here was um was a uh, thick, thicker, more more uh, dra drastic changes in line thick in line, the yeah. thickness of the lines. There's a um, a thinner form to it. There's a the wings themselves are thinner. Uh, there's small. There's like a. Uh, a few smaller and thinner lines as well. Yeah. The main thing I focused on was the the graceful ability to move, and and what I ha and what shown here is um, sort of three different three different ways I've come across to I've mainly come across to convey it. Uh, for this, it's it's mostly grace. It's based on an albatross. Yeah. Um, one of the things an albatross does is that it has it um, it can stay in the air for the longest amount of time out of any bird and. It basically just uses the wind to lift itself up, lift itself up, and power its movement, and and so an albatross, an albatross like this, it can lock its wings in place so it stays in this pro, in a soaring position for a very long amount of time. Mm. And this is what I wanted, and this is what I wanted to try. Um, the the perspective is mostly to show it kind of lock, kind of loftily gliding up um, the lines to emphasize the long wingspan. And an albatross for the bird with the longest wingspan it has a relatively small body to it. These are these, these are actually all of our studies. Okay. Um, they, came, they came after this, but before uh, uh, I focused in on pen, pen on paper. One of the things that interested me about the statues was that they had a very dynamic structure. Um, the most interesting one I looked at was uh, a statue called Bird in Space. Right. And. Uh, and one, of the, and one of the reasons why I studied it was that it um, was firstly because of the title, Bird in Space. It does give the idea of movement. And second, the original statue has, is smooth, has a very smooth texture, and that leaves a lot of uh, room to interpret, how, interpret why, why it is a bird in space. And these, and these two studies, um, I use marker and I use the very visible strokes to yeah. try to interpret that yeah. movement. Yeah. Water and air are both uh, essentially the same environment. 
Um, if you compare aerodynamics and hydrodynamics, it's that hydrodynamics, it's more, um, uh, I'd say, it's thicker, like uh, more viscous. Mm -hmm. So that, that's a really nice contrast to air. And what I did here was um, I, I wanted to try to, try to uh, get, the move, get the movement of the stream. The stream moves in a single direction, unlike mm -hmm. an ocean, but even then, it, ha it still has um, all these Sur all these um, surface irregularities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and um, yeah, I wanted to cool. make it distinct from air, so I made it uh, a little less graceful and more a little more, um, I'd say, mm, com maybe combine it with um with a sense of with a sense of chaos because um, water water is basically just water molecules. Ooh. Water. So I think the most important thing I've learned is um, it's just uh, the importance of finding. Some, finding something that's both interesting and something that you really are interested in making art about. One of the weaknesses in terms of technical skill when I entered grade 11 is uh, I had trouble making very smooth flowing lines. Yeah. And um, I really do feel I've made uh, good progress in kind of improving, improving the, steady, the steadiness of my hand yeah. so, and being able to make these kinds of smooth lines.